Hey curious people, I've got loads of stuff to take apart here and the weather is uh, pretty shocking. The storm has seemed to have passed now but um, there are some beastie rain clouds <laughs> looming so I'm going to see what I can do. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave this for another day and just forget those routers for now. Um, but basically I found this um small crt tv on the side of the road so it was still there it was there when i drove to work in the morning and about nine hours later it was still there when i drove back so i thought okay because you know here sometimes we leave things out for free cycle and what have you and I, so i didn't want to just take it straight away in case it was had been left there for somebody because it was kind of outside someone's garden wall but it was still there so I thought nope they're just hoping some person is just going to take it away so I nabbed it however there is no power cord and I'm hoping that someone hasn't got to it first <laughs> and that I haven't just picked one up that's got no yoke in it which is possible but I thought well you know I'm gonna still take it anyway so um it's a waltham never heard of that make i don't think it's particularly you know, anything special so i feel like we will just see how we get on really oh i also got myself some decent cutters because those other ones those silvercrest ones were absolute cack so i've got some nice ck ones so that would be nice although can't use them on here because it's gone but i look forward to using those anyway <sighs> all right let's just see oh look i hate that that's so annoying when that happens isn't it Okay. Gotta take this. Hopefully there's not too many of these awkward uh, catches on the side casing. I'm gonna keep those to put the cover back on. There we go. That. Ah, I need an extender. Pretty poor light out here, I have to say. With the uh, rain clouds. in the, in the case. Let's see. Please, please, please. I see a yoke. Yay. Phew. Awesome. Oh, look, the cards. Board's lifting out with it. Sweet. Right. Okay. Well, I'm really thrilled it's got the yoke still. I mean, I did think that perhaps even if um, somebody had taken the yoke, they might have not known about the degaussing table, uh, cable and left it in anyway. So I thought I'd probably get something. Um... But yeah, luckily I've got it all. So it's a pretty small little yoke. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting anything else from a um, not very good brand TV. 
so a couple of clips to undo here let's just see if that will has that done it? not quite Oh, that didn't like that. It's stuck a little. Let's see if it'll... Yeah, it's come off. Okay. There's one of the clips. Just two little yoke clips. Uh, now, this is nothing new for any experienced scrappers you've probably seen and done hundreds of these but for me this is my actual first CRT TV which is exciting it just um see stuck this last clip which is a bit annoying ah looks like I freed it a bit perfect so um this has been in my in the boot of my car for about a week um, and it was also on the side of the road I don't know how long it's been there so this is definitely not going to have been powered on any time recently so I know that I don't need to worry about um, it letting out a charge or anything like that do I need to get the clip off even? maybe don't let's just see um, I should just be able to unscrew this. Let's just see. Perhaps I should have um, researched this a bit better. Um, yeah, I think they just come off. Yeah, here we go. Should just be able to get this over. There we go. <gasps> ah, look at that. Very nice. And this is obviously the golden goose where the CRT TVs are concerned. That's why I've wanted one. And then they, they're they just not around really now because um, in Britain we switched over to digital a few years back and these have you have, no one's been able to use these since then so there was like a mass clear out at the time um so i was so thrilled to see this on the side of the road um ironically i had literally picked one up that's where i was in the morning driving back from um but it's a lovely little phillips one it's got all the accessories and it's in working order so i've kept it actually because i think it's a neat little thing to to keep in my collection because I mean they just to me they already look space age in their shape and stuff so that is the yoke now if I can get one of these out anyone can miss cat candid over here so now this um degaussing cable uh are most often copper um they're there's the odd time when you'll be unlucky enough not to get a copper one, but fingers crossed this will be copper. Um, I think uh, we, we, we pronounce it degaussing cable. Uh, other countries, uh, they call it degaussing, but um, yeah, for us it's a degaussing cable. And we'll see in a second just use my new cutters to have a little look in there yeah beautiful copper in there see very very nice feel about that that's great so i should be keeping that aside too now uh, let's have a look at the boards so there are some brass fittings and the speaker now you know I normally keep the speakers because I like the magnets um, I'm one of those strange people that collects all the magnets 
uh, I'll see if that's easy to get off. If not, I'm going to leave it because I do not want to interfere with this unit and I want to be able to get the cover back on neatly uh, for disposing of it. So, um, oh, that's suction cup. I realised I had those. So yeah, I won't be um, won't be interfering with that. Oh, now you know. Now this looks like I didn't wasn't paying much attention to this, but this looks like it could be tinned copper. Let's have a little look. Yes. Oh, sweet. Brilliant. That's an added little bonus. Um, you know, I love the copper. I'm just going to cut that again and pull it through because it's... Um, there we are. Lovely little bit of tinned copper. Oh, no, here comes the rain. And a very slightly magnetic uh, spring. Okay, let's have a quick look at this bit. The board. Now for someone who loves copper, these boards in these old power boards can actually be quite nice for us. Um, although they're extremely low grade. Now will it slot out or do I need to unscrew something? It would slot out, but I'll just double have a look over here. Ah, okay, a couple of little one and two. There we go. Okay, oh, it's heavy. Right, what a dusty old board. So obviously I'll get all these bits of cable off of here. It's a nice transformer there. That has copper, um, some lovely copper coils as well. Some pretty, loads of capacitors. Um, I think Are, we, are they relays? Might have some copper in there as well. Uh, or perhaps not in this case. No. Okay. Um, some. Well, one nice big IC there. There's a couple of ICs. Um, and some of these blue M&M things. I've heard like... Uh, Ralph and um, Raphael Scrapper talk about these. I don't really know much about those, but I think maybe they've got a little bit of silver recovery in them. Not really sure. It's not really my area of knowledge. Um, but this to me looks like some sort of... It's a Samsung. Hmm. Trying to see the codes here. Um, this is a low, there's no, can't see any gold pins here. Little heat sink there. Nice aluminium, but it's, mm, I suppose for a small board, it's not too bad. Some brass screws. So yeah, there's a few bits on there. Um, so I wonder if this is where we have like a main kind of chip underneath. Hard to tell, but let's see if I can just eke my way in with uh, some of the tools that my dad made me. This is normally where I'd start bashing with a hammer and a screwdriver. Oh, there we go. Uh, I 
All right. Nice big icy there. Oh, and a crystal there. Nice big crystal there. So there is a crystal on this board. Um, these people are collecting as well now for um, recovery. So I will collect those as well. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Did I notice that one? There's another little copper spool there. So not a bad board. There's some nice copper on there for me anyway. Okay, so I've got some bits off of the board that I want. I do want more. Um, but I want to melt the solder to get it off a bit easier. So I want this Samsung component here, um, some sort of choke component or something. Um, I just really think from the look of this, there's going to be some copper in there. So I want to melt the solder and get that off. And I'll get the ICs and the crystals. There's a couple of crystals on there. I'll get those off as well. But as for what I've got here... Um, so I took off the uh, aluminium heat sinks and I've got some of these um, blue capacitor, m, m type capacitors. Um, some, I've got three little MOSFETs, so that's going to start off my collection of MOSFETs. Uh, loads of ferrite, there's more up at the shed base where I smashed up the yoke um, and that transformer here. Um, which I've muddled up the copper. I try to keep it separate to show you what I got off what, but um, oh no, here it is. It's here. The no, it isn't. That's the coil. I forget that. So one of the coils that was the one nice, really shiny, good quality copper. All of that just came off that coil. Um, this came off that little one that looks like a little weightlifting <laughs> weight, and then. This this here is from inside the yoke. Oh, that was around the um, transform one as well, which I seem to have mixed up somewhere. Um, so that was the really orange bit of the yoke, and then peeled off. Got this slightly nicer colour copper here. There's a lot of lacquer on this. I know it'll probably burn off, but it'll create quite a lot of slag. So I'm not sure. I suppose if I'm doing a whole load of that colour, it might be all right. Um, so that's that. And then this is the copper out of the degaussing cable. So it's certainly, you don't want to turn your nose up at that. Um, so what I did was I just, I just ran it through my cable stripper. And actually it went through really easy, easily, easier than some ordinary cables that I get. So that's what came out of there. So I thought, just curiosity's sake just weigh it and see what we actually got there so the degaussing cable is 58 grams not bad and then the yolk the yolk was 122 grams and then we've just got these miscellaneous little bits here um, there's a couple of little bits I can't quite get Another nine grams. Nope, it should change to a. We'll average it out. We'll go ten. Okay, so that's that's what we've got copper wise. And yet, I still think there's going to be more in here. I could be wrong, but my gut instinct is telling me there might be a little bit more in there. Um, and of course, the tin copper on that uh, cable type bit. I think this is also tinned copper. Um, I'll take it apart and investigate that further, but I think that's tin copper. And then, of course, I've got all these little miscellaneous bits of cable as well. Again, I think tin copper. So, so yeah, there we go. Not bad for a really low-end, small, very small CRT TV. Can't complain at that. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this very novice scrap out. I've got my first CRT, yay! <laughs> and I've got to pray for some better weather to get on with the rest of this stuff that's building up. All right, th thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.